What's up, everybody? I'm Star Lord, and today we're going to be taking a little dive into an official tweet from a Pokemon Brick Bronze developer, and uh, this actually shows off what they have planned in terms of routes for the next few updates. And uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. I actually asked a lot of you guys, would you like to see this type of video where we kind of discuss what we want to see, what we could possibly see, and uh, just kind of discuss the next updates. And a lot of people said yes, so I thought, you know what, why not do it? Uh, before we get into the video, guys, don't forget to leave a like. And remember, in the description, I do have a giveaway, a 5,000 Robux giveaway going on right now. Just go into the description, you'll see all of the details within the little link. Uh, so yeah, let's get into today's video guys. So uh, on screen right now, you will see a tweet from Lando and it actually says location planning Here you go. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of obvious that they are only just uh, kind of planning what they're going to be doing next so we can kind of assume that Port Deca is in the early stages of being built maybe the mid stages I don't know um, and yeah this looks pretty interesting actually so uh, right here you'll see a couple of red arrows of course we see route 16 now that is the route where we've already been and uh, then we have Rory League to the bottom left secrets to the bottom and to the right hand side we have Port Deca and uh, Port Deca is where we are going to be next, you know, that is the next place that we go to, uh, so we believe, in the next update. And uh, it looks pretty interesting, to be honest. And then, obviously, over in the bottom right-hand corner, we have this kind of crescent moon kind of thing, and it says more secrets. Now, a lot of people seem to think that that little moon-shaped island is going to be uh, where all of the Alolan form Pokemon are going to be. And I genuinely don't think that is the way it's... That, I don't think that's it, to be honest. Because if you think about it, we have Team Eclipse. And that is a Crescent Moon. So, you know, it's kind of putting two and two together. Team Eclipse, Crescent Moon. Um, it's safe to say that, yeah, that is going to be where Team Eclipse's base is. Or where we will first see Hoopa. And uh, a lot of people just think it's going to be an Alolan Pokemon Island. And I genuinely don't think that. I think that what they're going to do in the future is make a whole new map. Maybe where you have to like fly over to a new region. And that is where we will encounter all of the 7th gen Pokemon and a couple of the Alolan forms. I think that would be really interesting if they did that. Because if you think about it, we have around about 200 or more Pokemon to discover in this game. And... If you look at this map, you're not going to find 200 Pokemon within that short amount of kind of space, you know? We've got two grassy pitches left to explore, guys. Yeah, there is definitely going to be some sort of new uh, region or something like that that we travel to to discover the rest of the Pokemon. Uh, I genuinely don't feel like they would be able to add in 200 or more Pokemon in this little area. And especially all of the Alolan type and all uh, type... Gen 7 Pokemon to that Crescent Moon. I just don't think it's possible. Um, so yeah, so here we have a uh, Port Deca, which, you know, it's quite obvious. It is going to be a port. It's going to be on the water. Um, and this is most likely where we're going to get a uh, HM Surf. And where we will most likely see Pokemon such as Whalmer, uh, Lapras... Um, and so on so forth, you know, you guys have already got speculations uh, going about what Pokemon we'll see there But my speculation is that it's going to be a Lapras. I genuinely feel like there's going to be a Lapras somewhere around about there um, Other than that, uh, we have on the far left hand side the Roria League Now this is pretty cool uh, because this means that, I, I, I think it means basically that When we go through that little exit, you know where, um that's getting blocked in uh, in Frostvale City, you know, that exit kind of thing to the next route. I genuinely feel like we're going to come to some kind of, like, crossroads. And uh, it'll say, like, go this way for Poor Deca, that way for the Roria League, and this way for something else. We don't yet, yet, we don't yet know because it says secrets. Um, and what I feel is that we'll be able to go to this crossroads and we can actually go up to the Roria League entrance, like, you know, the entrance way up there. But there will most likely be people standing in the way saying, excuse me, you can't come past this way. Uh, boulders have fallen over here and uh, we've got construction going on or something like that. You know, some sort of inconvenience that uh, stops you from actually going to the league itself. Um, 
But yeah, I, I believe it's going to be some kind of crossroads where you can kind of explore a route and uh, kind of look around uh, what we can see, what we can possibly see in the next update and everything. I feel like it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, Port Decker is most likely going to be on the water, obviously. Uh, Roria League is most likely going to be half in a cave and just some nice, like, area. I don't really know. I feel like they will do a cave. But I could be wrong on that because most of the Pokemon games, before you get to the leagues, you have to go through some really hard kind of uh, caves in which you battle really high level Pokemon and really annoying Pokemon too. Uh, so I feel like they should do that personally. I would really like to see that because uh, there's not enough caves in this game, you know? There's just not. Um, now as for the secrets down here, I genuinely don't know what that could be. I genuinely don't know what that could be. I was personally thinking that it most likely will be a town in which you can buy your own house. Of course, we know that the apartments update is coming out very soon um, after Port Deca, but we don't know exactly where these apartments are going to be. And I genuinely feel like an apartment on the beach would be really cool. And there will be like multiple apartments for you to choose from. And uh, yeah, I, I, I really don't know. I really don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. That's my opinion anyway, but whatever you guys think, please comment it down below. I would really be interested in your thoughts. Um, so to kind of cap everything off, uh, Port Deca will most likely have Lapras, Whalmer, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the secret to the bottom left, uh, the bottom even, I believe it's going to be apartments or a kind of like a little village, a town where you can buy your own house. Uh, Roria League will be closed off. Um, and that little crescent moon kind of island is going to be most likely where the last gym is or, you know, where you find Hoopa and uh, Team Eclipse or the boss of Team Eclipse. I don't know. That's what I think anyway. Um, if you do agree with me, guys, please comment down below. If you feel like you have any other kind of opinions, then please comment them down below. I am really excited to see what you guys think about this uh, picture. And uh, yeah, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I do hope that you have an awesome day. And until next, shut up, phone. Until next time, <laughs> I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.